supposed to tell father? Well, we'll think of something. I know. Prepare a goat for slaughter. Father, look what we found on our way home. A coat covered in blood. This is Joseph's coat. You don't say. Didn't he join you in Dotham? No. But I sent him to you. He never made it. He must have been attacked by wild animals. And this is all that's left of him. No. It can't be. My son. My son. Joseph, now a slave, has been bought by Potiphar, the Pharaoh's chief steward. Thanks to you, Joseph, my house is in order for the first time in ten years. I am pleased that you're satisfied with my work, my lord. I'm more than satisfied, Joseph. You're brighter than my other slaves. You catch on quickly. You can read and write. My father taught me. I feel like I can trust you, Joseph. Tell me, do you think you can handle even more responsibility? Yes, sire. You're in charge of my household, then. I will do my best to serve, my lord. Is there something you want, mistress? Yes, I need assistance in my personal quarters. Your quarters? You're not afraid to be alone with me, are you? I, uh... Come on, then. How can I serve you, mistress? Let me count the ways. <laughs> I've had my eye on you for some time, Joseph. I think you've had your eye on me, too. Don't be ashamed to confess your desire for me. I, um... <clears throat> I, I think that, uh, that I should get back to work. If it's my husband you're worried about, I sent him on an errand. He'll be gone for hours. Um, I, I don't mean to offend you, but I, I... I really must go. Don't you find me attractive, Joseph? Oh, yes, but... Kiss me. I, I, I can't. Potiphar trusts me. If you serve him, you serve me, too. Take me in your arms and kiss me, Joseph. I order you to. I... I... I can't. Then I'll tell my husband you did anyway. He'll have you thrown in jail. Have you ever been inside an Egyptian jail, Joseph? Please, don't do this. If you fight me, Joseph, you lose. Give in. Don't you see? You have no choice. <laughs> You'll pay for that. As she threatened, Potiphar's wife made sure that Joseph was thrown in prison. But Joseph was a model prisoner. 
And soon his good behavior earned him the position of prison supervisor. I had such a strange dream last night. I was in the Pharaoh's fields tending to a vine with three branches. The buds suddenly blossomed and ripened into grapes. So I squeezed the grapes into his cup and gave his majesty the sacred juice to drink. What do you think it means? Hmm, I have no idea. When you awake from a slumber of dreaming, tell Joseph your dreams. Make no mistake, he'll uncover the meaning. Tell Joseph your dreams For Joseph can speak in the language of dreaming He'll uncover the plot and the themes A glimpse of tomorrow and what it's revealing Tell Joseph your dreams I can tell you what your dream means <laughs> Who invited you into our conversation, Hebrew? I'm sorry, I, I was only trying to be helpful Wait, tell me what you think the dream means. The three branches of the vine represent three days. In three days, you will be pardoned and return to your position as cupbearer to the Pharaoh. This is wonderful news. How can I ever repay you? Perhaps one day you can ask the Pharaoh to pardon me. Yes, if what you say is true and I get my freedom back, I'll be sure to put in a good word for you. <clears throat> I uh, also had a dream last night. Can you interpret mine as well? Go ahead. I had uh, three baskets filled with breads and pastries for the Pharaoh. When birds flew up from the sky and ate all of the breads in my basket. Hmm. The three baskets in your dream also mean three days. But I'm afraid the news is not good. Hmm. Tell me. In three days, you will be taken from the prison and hanged by order of the Pharaoh. I don't believe you. You're just trying to scare me with your lies. I curse you, Hebrew. As Joseph predicted, the cupbearer was freed and the baker was hanged. But two years passed before the cupbearer remembered his promise. Your wine, Pharaoh. <sighs> Not now. Can't you see I'm in anguish? What's wrong, sire? No one can tell me the meaning of my two dreams. Not even the wisest men in Egypt! Sire, two years ago, in prison, I met a man with a gift for reading dreams. Perhaps he can shed light on things. Is it true what my cupbearer says? You can interpret dreams? Yes, sire. My father told me it was a gift from God. I hope your God is with you today, because if you disappoint me, both you and the cupbearer will be sent back to prison and remain there for the rest of your lives. Tell me your dream, Pharaoh. When you awake from a slumber of dreaming, tell Joseph your dreams. 
Make no mistake, he'll uncover.